Um, what I started doing as a young person that I urge you all to think about doing is keeping a notebook where you just sit to write your own things down about seven minutes minimum a day. Uh, you can think about it in terms of lines if you prefer, like three lines a day that belong to you, three lines that come out of your experience, three questions you're asking, three little details you're wondering about. Why? Because you will become more flexible with language. At the end of a month, you'll have 90 lines that belong to you. Any one of them has the possibility of growing out into a story, into a poem, into an essay, into some research you do in school. Uh, you have no idea where the little things you write down in your notebook can go. Um, I don't need a diary where you write down what you ate for breakfast, what the weather was like, although you can write those things if you want to. If they really matter to you at the end of the day, you could write those. Um, it's good to have a regular time period when you do this, to sneak it in on a regular basis, because what starts happening is your mind feels very rich when you open that little notebook and you start writing. Suddenly all these things have kind of been gathering in your mind. Sometimes during the day you think, oh, I'll write that. I heard, for example, the other day at Heathrow Airport, they said, calling Mr. Um, um, you am, Mr. Um, um, Mr. Um, um, please come to, and by this time, I noticed that like a lot of people had, oh, sorry, had stopped what they were doing, and were smiling. Just the idea of being named Um was very sweet. I mean, and maybe that was only a partial name, like a ticket error or something. But I like the fact also that the person who was announcing it kept saying Um in between saying the name. It was getting more interesting by the minute. I wrote that down in my notebook the minute I got on the plane, just because I wanted to remember the scene. And how everyone paused, and we all started smiling at one another, because it was as if we had been bound by this moment with words.